If you were going to give advice <clears throat> to some young person that's contemplating uh, a career in audio engineering, what would you tell them? Um, I would say to find you know the the local club or the local recording studio or whatever's in their area, and you know volunteer your time. Go in there take out the trash and go get lunches for people and just kind of hang out because if they don't if people don't see you they don't know who you are you could be the best audio engineer on the planet and if nobody's aware that you exist that's not going to really do you very good so you can spend hours and hours learning how to record and learning how to mix but you know the the fact is people need to know who you are beyond your career as an audio engineer and given the fact that the touring uh, can be a difficult lifestyle. Um, how do you? How does Darren Legros' career or the career of an audio engineer from the road evolve? Well, you know, um, I've been doing this now for about 12, 13 years, and the road definitely takes its toll. It's a, uh, it's a tough lifestyle. You know, your bed is driving down the road at 75 miles per hour a night, so it's not uh, easy to relax and you know, mellow out. So I, I kind of have uh, been working a lot more recently with mixing, with recording, um, which I've done for a while, but now I'm doing the uh, Incubus bootleg series. I, I just worked on the Incubus uh, HQ DVD and CD release. Um, so, you know, I kind of see that's where my uh, future is going to go, start getting back into the studio and getting, you know, maybe a little more producing and recording and go that direction and maybe actually sleep in the same bed for, you know, <laughs> a few nights in a row. After 13 years uh, as an audio engineer uh, on, on the other side of the band, you still love it? I do. I mean, you know, I, I consider what I get paid to do, you know, getting to my job, the actual job itself, I would do for free. I love that.